what's necessary is that you believe in yourself and that you believe that you can do it. Hey, my name is Trish Schulte. I'm a professor in the Department of Zoology at UBC. And my job has to do with research and teaching in the area of animal physiology. When I came to UBC, I was planning to become a chemical engineer. That was my goal. And then in my first year, I changed my mind. And I changed my mind because of a really wonderful professor. He really inspired me about biology as a predictive science, about something where you can do experiments and address important questions about the way the world works. That, to me, completely revolutionized my thinking about what biology was like as a science and really excited me about it. That made me decide to pursue biology as my career. I've had mentors all through my life at every stage. As a kid, my mentors were my parents. They're both in STEM and they always encouraged me to follow up my interests. Then as I got older, I had really good teachers that kept my interest in science alive. Then in third year, one of my profs said to me, just as in an offhand comment when I was visiting his office to talk to him about something, he said to me, I think you have what it takes to do biology. And just that one sentence, was enough to encourage me to realize that I could do this as a career. That idea that someone who can tell you and help you to realize that you can do this is in some ways the most important things that my mentors have given to me. So I was really lucky in that growing up I was surrounded by science. But that doesn't mean that you have to be surrounded in science from the time you're small because anyone who has an interest in science, regardless of their gender or background, really has the potential to excel and contribute and to embark on an exciting adventure that's a career in science.